Hi everybody! My name is Randy. Now you actually get to see what I look like in my normal attire. Always with my big floppy hat and my sunglasses. Today we're going to be showing you more about how you can do transitions to improve not only your horse's balance, but your competition results as well. I'd like to thank Carlos from Umberto for asking this question that we could show you today. All right, now we're ready to play with our transitions from the can trot to the canter and back and forth, which is usually the most difficult for most riders. And uh, what we're going to do first is, do either of you ever have a problem picking up leads? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, why would that be? Hmm. A lot. A lot of reasons. That's right. Your horse is... That's right. You're not, you may not be positioning your horses exactly where they should be for this moment in time, but since they're both kind of green at this type of thing, we expect them not to get it right away. So what I'm going to do first is, if you'll stay over there, Alex, I'd like you to halt, Lisa. Good. I'm going to come over here. I know he's going to wiggle around a little again. We don't care. I'm going to go in front of you like you're going to pick up your right lead. I want you to show me how you position your horse for the right lead. That's right. Insert his nose would come to the inside. That's alright, because this is what's going to happen with just about everybody. Yeah. Okay, now you'll notice on the tape that the horse is flipping his nose consistently over to the left oh. and bringing his shoulder out. So this is what most horses do when they're starting to do the leads. What we need to do is get Lisa to bring... bring could you bring your horse over here, Lisa? Thank you. Okay, it's easier if we do this at the walk, I think, because he doesn't want to stand. Okay, you can stand him. I want you to stop. Bring his shoulder one step to, the, to, the, to your right. Okay, now you want to try it and not move his back end. Bring his shoulders one step to the other right. Just stay the same. There, feel that? Did you feel that? Yes, and I used my leg. That's right, you used your leg. Okay, one more time. I would like you to bring him one step to the right. Just one. Do you notice how you positioned him? That's where you position him for your canter, but you keep your left elbow back. Yeah, so when you ever you position for the canter, did you feel what we did? Yes. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do this with Alex so she can feel it too. And what I'm doing is I'm showing the riders the position that the horse is more likely, with luck, <laughs> is what we say. To pick up the correct lead when they're, when they're, because both of these horses are, he's had, uh, anyway, uh, Choppa's a little bit greener with his leads. All right, wait a minute. Okay, so let me get up here. What I'd like you to do is to bring his shoulder one step to the right without moving his back end. Did you feel him move his back end? Yeah. That would be your left leg not being on enough. And it could also, I mean your right leg, it could also be you pulling too much with your left hand. Okay. So you're going to bring the shoulder over instead of the nose. See if you can bring his shoulder over one, one step without his rear end moving. Because what this is telling me is when you're asking him for his leads, he's actually flipping his rear end out. Yep, so try to keep his rear end in place as you bring the shoulder over. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? So, you know, we wonder why our horses don't always pick up the same leads all the time. And sometimes it's simply because we haven't done enough of the basics, maybe because we didn't know how, to be able to keep their body in the place we want. So we want his back legs to stay in place as she brings her sho his shoulders over one step. Oh, better. He's starting to get it now, isn't he? Yeah, him and There. I praise him. Praise him a lot. Remember to praise him. Good. Now we're going to walk around the ring, and I'm going to just, I'm going to have you... Bring their shoulders in like every five or six steps so you can get the feeling of simply bringing their shoulders in. When you bring the shoulders in, you use your outside rein and leg. Position their chest a little with their inside rein. That's it. Take your time. That's it. Good, Lisa. So what are you working on now, Lisa? I'm working on trying to work on shoulder in. It's, I never said that word. Did you hear me say that word? Shoulder in, or bringing, bringing, the shoulder, bringing the shoulder in. That's right, bringing the shoulder in. That's right. 
That's right. Now you'll notice when you first start bringing their shoulders in that they don't know what to do because it puts the puts your riding position in a different place on their back. Do you feel it? Yeah. It's going to make it's going to help them pick up your left seat bone going to the right. So now when you bring the shoulders to the right, see if you can keep them picking up your left seat bone. His nose needs to be pointed in the direction you're going to take his chest, Lisa. That's it. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, you're being way too hard on yourself as a rider. All right. If you're not making if you're not making mistakes, you're doing something wrong. So please make mistakes. You know, because otherwise you're going to make me feel bad because you know I'm comfortable making mistakes. It's back too far. It should be in front of the saddle pad. There you go. Okay, so now you feel how you're starting to bring your shoulder over a little bit more? Yep. Okay, use both reins to bring the shoulder. All right, so now what we're going to do is, you notice we're bringing the horse's shoulders over, but the riders aren't quite sure, well, what do you mean bring the, ride, the horse's shoulder over? Do we bring their nose over? You know, what do you have to do to bring a horse's shoulder over, right? It's not as easy as it sounds, is it? Okay, so here's the secret to bringing a horse's shoulder over. Of course, we've got to be aligned in our body and our outside leg on and that type of thing. But here's the way we're going to use our reins. A lot of people will be doing this to bring a shoulder over. Yeah, that's me. Yep, that's you. And all it does is bring the horse's nose over. Right. We want to be able to bring the horse's outside shoulder to the inside. So to do that, we take both of our reins with our outside leg, of course, like this. Okay. And you bring, I'm physically bringing the shoulder over with me. Yep. You see what I'm doing? If I'm going to the right, I'm going to bring a shoulder over like oh, this. Okay. If I'm going to the left, I'm going to bring a shoulder over like this. Got it? Right. Yeah, well, the thing, uh, the thing, I guess most people, or me, doing it, yeah, you know that they will move away from pressure, so you have to put your leg. But one thing that I was getting is, okay, I'm giving him space for him to move. Yep. That's why I was doing this. Yeah. And that you was know? more of a green horse thing. So what she's saying is first she was using a leading rein like this here to get her horse to do everything. And that's what we do with the greener horses. But these horses are getting ready to go into training level. So they're expected to be able to work a little bit more off the outside rein too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right? All right. So now what we're going to do is you're going to go... Well, first let me see you do it. You'll have to shorten the length of your reins because what we're doing is we're riding the base of the neck. You've heard me talk about that before. We forget about riding the head of the horse because what we really need to do is ride the shoulders so they carry us up on their back. Okay, I'm going to step away from him just a little bit. Bring him one step this way by moving your hands together. There. Soft. Okay. And again, this is what some horses will do is running backwards. He's not being bad. This is just all the issues coming up. There you go. Good. And then walk him forward. You're going to do it at the walk now. That's it. We're back at that corner again. How did we get back to this side of the ring again? The kitchen must be around here. Okay, so now we're going to show Alex how to bring her horse's shoulders over. Alex, use this rein. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it from this side first so you can actually see how the outside rein should work. Okay, so if we're going to bring his shoulder over that way, could you turn his head a little over? Thank you. I'm going to hold my hand here, right here, so that her reins come right across this area here. Alex, I'd like you to use this rein to move his shoulder that way. So what she has to do is figure out how much rein she's going to need to actually move his neck. Oh! Okay, hold on. Oh, so you're just pulling back on your reins, aren't you? You have to take him that way. That's it. Use your leg, too. That's it. Kick him. Give him a kick. There, there. Praise him a lot. Good boy. Did you feel what it took to get him to move over? Yeah. So at first your aids will be a little bit stronger when they feel it, but you know, this really isolates it, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. And what I've done is I put my hand against the base of the neck for those of you who are trainers and instructors. So when the rider holds the reins, it actually holds my hand against his neck. She's probably feeling 20 pounds of pressure as she does it, but that's what they need to be able to feel how to move the horse's shoulder over in the beginning. Okay, you ready? Try it again. What do you? Oh, you have to play with all kinds of things, don't oh, you? Good, yeah. good. With my seat. Okay, now I'm gonna let go and you do it. Oh. Okay. No. No. Nothing he can do is wrong. Remember, oh, there's nothing yeah, yeah. you can do wrong. Okay, look the direction you want him to go. Okay. Okay. Now look, look, look where you want him to go. 
and they'll go all over the place at first. Yep. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Open with the other rein.